CTPicker is a Swift library available from the Swift Package Manager using Xcode 11. I built CTPicker because I wasn't satisfied with the UI Picker or a third-party autocomplete library for offering users a list of options for a UI text field, as well as optionally giving them the ability to add to the list if the option was available. I needed it to be easy to use in all of my projects, as well as look good and be functional on an iPad and an iPhone. CT Picker is compatible with iOS 12, but if your app supports iOS 13, it's also dark mode ready. This is not a simple modal view controller, but rather one that, in my opinion, displays more aesthetically on an iPad screen, as it does not cover the entire screen and is not as wide as the new modal in iOS 13. If you're interested in finding out how to install and how to implement CT Picker, keep watching and I'll go through the entire process. Let's begin by looking at the starter project. My storyboard has three normal UI text fields embedded in a stack view, and the view controller links up these outlets for the three fields. I also have three empty arrays of strings defined, country array, wine array, and variety array. In view did load, I populate the country and variety arrays from some seed data that I have uploaded. The data source functions just loads the names of 260 countries into the country array and 82 different variety types. You can check out the data source and model functions if you're interested in how I've done that, but that's not important to this video. The winery array is left empty. The first thing you need to do is to get the CT Picker package. Choose Swift Packages, add package dependency from the file menu. Type in the CT Picker URL into the package repository URL field and tap Next. Tap Next again and then Finish. And that's all there is to installing a Swift package. Now that it's installed, return to the View Controller and type Import CT Picker. We must now have our view controller conform to the UI text field delegate and CT picker delegate protocols. This will require the addition of a set text field function, and we'll return to that shortly. In the meantime, let's just move this to the end of our view controller. Now we create an optional CT picker delegate variable. Now we'll assign the view controller to the CT delegate variable. We'll also assign the UI text field delegates for each of the text fields to the view controller. Now we can complete the text field did begin editing function. In each case, we'll call the CT picker dot present CT picker function and the option that are presented will depend on the text field and how you want to manage additions to the array. First, let's dismiss the keyboard with a resign first responder. Let's stick to the default behavior first and use a switch statement to handle all text fields. In each case, there are three parameters to pass. The view controller, self, the text field, text field, and the array of items. The last thing we need to do is to deal with the return picked value. So in the set field protocol function, we can add selected text field dot text is equal to the value. Let's run the app now to test. We can pick a variety. We can pick a country. However, when we try to pick a winery, we see that there aren't any. So we need to add the ability to add to the winery array. Let's go back to the present CT picker function and add is add enabled true to the winery text field call. So when someone adds a new wine, we need to handle the new item. So back in the set text field function, we can check to see if new is true 
and if the selected text field is the winery text field, we'll append the value to the winery array. Run the app again, and now there's an add button for the winery text field. We can tap the add button to add a new wine. Now when we tap on the field again, we can see that the value is stored in our array, and we can keep adding. Of course, your solution would want to persist that data for the next launch, but I'll leave that up to you. The final bit I want to show you is that there are four other optional parameters for the picker. You can pass a set of strings that will override the default set used on the picker navigation bar and on the add new item alert. To do this, you create an instance of the CT strings class. If you do not use this option, the default values will be used. However, you can enter whatever you like. For example, once you have this variable, you can pass it as a parameter in your function. So let's add it to the winery text field and test it out. As you can see, the strings are now in our foreign language. The final three parameters are custom colors that you can pass to the functions that will override the default colors used on the navigation bar and the buttons on the add alert. Back in the code, let's remove the call for the winery text field and try again, but this time choose the second option that offers all four optional values. The first three are the same, self for view controller, text field, and winery array followed by ct strings, but the next three are the optional colors, so let's add a red bar background color, white buttons, and how about purple for the add alert buttons? And then the final option is the is add enabled is true. Let's run once more. You can see the red and white colors on the navigation bar. And when we add a new wine, the buttons are purple. So that's all there is to adding the custom CT picker to your project. This is version 1, so feedback for other options are welcome. And it's open source, so feel free to fork the repository and submit a pull request.